Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the cursor back on your screen on MSI Stealth. As you're moving on your touchpad and the cursor does not appear, I know in my case it is here, but if in your case it's not, if it does not appear, then first try pressing on the on that uh, button, on the F4 on your keyboard. If it shows the crossed touchpad, click on that again. Now, your touchpad should be on again. If this didn't do anything, it di didn't show anything, they, then instead try pressing, and pressing on two buttons at once, Fn, which is on the bottom of your keyboard, and the F4 at the same time. Then make sure that it displays this symbol. And now try moving your touchpad, it should be working. If it still isn't, then um, click on the Windows button on your keyboard and type in settings. Then click on enter and click on tab key until you're pointing on home. If you go too far, you can click on shift and tab at the same time. And whilst you're on home, um, click on the down arrow to go to Bluetooth and devices, then space, then click on tab until you're pointing on devices and click on down arrow to go to touchpad, then click on space. And if it's off, then click on space to turn it on. And now if it still does not work, then you should shut down your laptop. So you can click on Alt and F4 at the same time on your keyboard. This should be displayed if no, uh, no other app is opened. If it is, then Alt F4 will close the app. And now you can just use the arrows to go up or down to set it to restart. Now click on enter and it will restart your laptop. And that will make your cursor appear. And if it still did not work, try plugging in an external mouse bay. Maybe there is something going on with your touchpad. And then you can later on install MSI Center from the Microsoft Store. Um, and in the MSI Center, after you click on support, you can click on live update. And here you will be able to click on scan. And that should um, help you install the drivers for the touchpad that may just not have drivers. So I'm just gonna show you the, um, where to find it in the MSI Center. The MSI Center can be installed in this Microsoft Store. So here, as we wait a second, I have, a, I have the MSI Center already installed, so of course it'll not look, uh, not look the same as in your case because the first setup requires you to click on a few things, then click on restart and all of that, then you can reopen the MSI Center and then go to support, live update and click on scan and it'll scan for available drivers. That's all for today, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you next time. Thank you.